Jagre! Please, wake up! Jagre! We have to take him to the medical clinic, quick! They might be able to treat him there. Got it. Stay with us, Jagray. <laughs> Dr. Ihaku, what's wrong with him? I've never seen symptoms like these before. He doesn't seem to have sustained any physical injuries. No damage to his internal organs. What in the world? This is probably because of Kyo-O's technique. Technique? You mean the martial arts he used? None of his strikes showed any visible signs of harm. It's very similar to Hokuto Shinken. But there's no evidence of a struck pressure point. This style must be different. Then what's causing Jagray to be like this? It's likely his mind's been affected. Kyo-O's technique must severely damage one's psyche. At this rate, his psyche will soon fall apart, and he'll go completely mad. Can you help him? I'm afraid this is beyond me. That can't be! All we can do is sit here and watch as Jagray slowly loses his mind? Is there nothing we can do? Perhaps that martial artist could help him. A martial artist? Yes. Rumor tells of a martial arts master who can heal any wound. He's said to cure his patients with one touch. I heard he once rid an entire community of its disease. They now call it the Village of Miracles. That man's name is Toki. What? Toki. Toki's alive? You know him? Toki was a fellow disciple, and was very much like a brother to me. We all thought he'd be the successor of Hokuto Shinken. The accuracy of his techniques. His rhythm, his speed, his mental and physical prowess. He was truly unmatched. During the war, Toki was heavily exposed to ashes of death nuclear fallout. He sacrificed himself to prevent Yuri and me from being exposed to it. He survived, but was left with an incurable sickness. He gave up his pursuit of becoming successor soon after. The reason I survived. The reason I inherited the title of successor. It's all because of him. I had no idea. Last time I saw him, he said he would use what life he had left to save as many lives as possible. It sounds like he may be able to cure Jagray. Unfortunately, I've also heard he's currently a prisoner. What? Why has he been imprisoned? I'm not sure. Judging from the rumors, I'd assume he was captured while treating the sick. Then all I need to know is where he is. Then I'll go set him free. It won't be that easy, I'm afraid. What do you mean? Toki is being held captive at the infamous Cassandra. Cassandra? No. What's that? The prison of death. No one who goes in comes out alive. And Cassandra's warden is the mighty Uyghur. If 
if we want to rescue Toki, we'll have to get through him. I'll take Jagre to Toki then. What? You mean, you're willing to go to Cassandra for Jagre? Yeah. Very well. I entrust this duty to you, Kenshiro. As ruler of this city, I cannot leave it behind. I understand. But please, save Jagre. And upon your safe return, I promise to tell you the truth I could not share before. The truth? About Yuria. Then you do know something about her? I'll tell you her whereabouts, and everything else I know. If you can save Jagre, then I will put my trust in you. Do we have a deal? Allow me to accompany you. I may not be much help, but I can at least look after Jagre on the way. I appreciate it. In any case, you'll need a car. It's rather far, and you couldn't possibly carry Jagre all the way there. Unfortunately, all of our cars were destroyed in the Army of Ruins' attack. We'll need to repair one first. Alright. I'll help in any way I can. Hey, Ken! Bad? <laughs> I knew it was you! I've been looking for you! What are you doing here? A lot happened after we split up back in Southern Cross. I mean, my car breaks down, I get caught by slavers, and almost get sold, then the Army of Ruin kills them? The Army of Ruin? Uh-huh. They almost killed me, too. But I managed to give them the slip. It was a pretty close call. Then I secretly followed them here. The gate was blown to pieces, so I was able to sneak right in. I was surprised to hear your name come up when I was scoping the place out. That's so. So what are you doing here, Ken? Come on, Ken. You can't keep quiet forever. I'll do whatever I can to help out. Why do you want to help me? Good things happen when you're around. <laughs> Besides, I think I'm a little better at negotiating than you. If you're gonna live here, I can help out. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Just like the good old days. Hmm. So Yuria might be somewhere in town? And you're looking to fix a car to save the captain of the guard? <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine. Leave it to me. Bad. what are you up to? I'm gonna make you a car. In this city, building a car's a heck of a lot easier than fixing one. You can make one? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's more like just fitting the parts together. I learned loads about this city since I was planning on building my own car here. Lots of places sell car parts. Should be pretty easy to build a car or two, so long as I get a hold of some. Also, if we fix up a rental, it's not like we'll be able to keep it. Having a car of our own will be a big help. You're probably right. Well then, let's get started. There's a store with the parts we need over that way. Speed. 
See ya. Got it. All good here. Huh? Did you say something? Ow! Listen to that engine. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh. Nope. Hmm. Hi. Hmm. What? Hey! Oh! <laughs> hmm? No. Got it. 
Yeah. Hmm. Say what?
руке! Hey. Correct.
Um... Hmm. <laughs> Say what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can't run anymore. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you kindly. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Say what? What? Hey! <laughs> huh. 
No. Hmm? Say what? Yep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes.
Horbreaker strike! How's Jagre doing? His heart rate has only increased since we left Eden. If this continues, he won't last much longer. I see. <laughs> <laughs> 